Welcome to the Mobile Money Nation. My name is AJ, and today I'm gonna to talk about the Yada Savings Account. Now the Yada Savings Account is a special savings account that takes a well-known approach to convincing people to part ways with their money, and that's through a lottery. But this is so much better than the normal lottery because the money that you actually put into your account, you don't actually lose the money. So unlike a lottery, when you buy a lottery ticket, if you don't have any actual winnings, like if you don't pick any of the right numbers, then whatever money that you put into the lottery, you lose it. You don't get it back. However, with the Yada Savings account, not only do you have the lottery feature of this app, you also have an actual high yield savings account. So that means that every dollar that you put into the savings account, it is FDIC insured, which means you won't lose it just because it is also a lottery. And so for every $25 that you deposit in a Yada Savings account you will receive one ticket to a weekly drawing so that means that every week that you have at least the $25 in your account you will get one ticket for weekly drawings so that means even if you don't deposit any more money if you just deposit just the $25 you'll have a ticket where you have a chance to win 10 million dollars every week of the year and for every $25 that you put into your account you will receive one ticket now, if you use my referral link, which will be available in the description, my invite code is AJ Mobile Money. With that invite code, you will receive 100 tickets when you use my referral link. So make sure you use that code. So on top of every $25 that you deposit and you'll get one ticket, you'll also get 100 tickets and these will be included in the weekly drawings as well. So that's right, for just $25, which will be in a savings account, you won't lose this money, you will have one ticket every week that will go for the weekly drawing for the chance to win $10 million. Now the Yada Savings account is banking, pun intended, that people will rather put their money in a Yada Savings account that's actually earning interest with also the chance of winning the lottery versus actually playing the lottery where you may have a chance of winning more than $10 million, but because lotteries are built to make money over time, over time, more than likely, unless you win the major jackpot, which is like a one in a billion chance, then you're just gonna be losing money week after week, month after month, year after year. And so if you don't already have a savings account that either matches or exceeds the amount of interest or what they call a savings bonus that Yada provides, then you'd rather have your money in this Yada savings account versus another savings account. And so I'll go into more details about the actual high yield savings portion of the Yada savings account since it is a savings account. And then I'll go into more detail about the lottery and how that works. And so the Yada savings account provides a 0.20% interest rate. And technically it's not an interest rate, they actually call it a savings bonus. But it essentially works the same way. At the beginning of every month, based on your average Yada balance, your average daily balance over that month, you will receive a savings bonus which is equal to 0.20 percent like an interest rate now considering the federal reserve has essentially dropped most interest rates for savings accounts and checking accounts to essentially nothing 0.20 percent as of today is actually pretty good it's still 10 or 20 times higher than the national average. So if you have a big bank like a Wells Fargo or Chase or Bank of America, you're not even getting 0.20% with your savings account. And even if you're getting a higher interest rate with your savings account, you're not getting the chance at winning $10 million. And there are also smaller prizes that you can get that even if you don't win one of the big prizes, even if you're winning 10 or 15 cents, if you think of that as just interest on your savings, then you're actually getting more than 0.20% depending on how often you win one of the smaller prizes. And so just thinking about the 0.20%, if you were to put $1,000 in your Yada savings account, not only would that give you 40 tickets to the weekly drawings, you would also get $2 of interest for every $1,000 that you put in. So you're still getting that interest. It's really a savings account. You're not losing any money, but you're also getting the opportunity to win money in their lottery. And so I've said $10 million a lot in this video, and it's actually not $10 million. So I took a look at the fine print, and I realized that it's actually $5.8 million that you would win as a lump sum. Now, the reason that they advertise it as $10 million is that the present cash value of $5.8 million would be $10 million of a 40-year annuity. So very similar to the Powerball and many other lotteries, the grand jackpot that they advertise that you could win, that would be the annuitized amount that you would win if you would take the money over a 30 or 40-year period. 
And so just like with those big lotteries like the Powerball, if you were to take a lump sum, you're always taking a lot less money than the actual full jackpot if you were to spread it out over a 30 or 40 year period. And so like with Powerball, the minimum that you could win in the Powerball lottery is $20 million. That's where it starts off after a big jackpot is won. And that's the annuitized amount as well. So if you were to take the lump sum, if you were to win on day one, if you were to win the Powerball, then you wouldn't actually get $20 million. You would get a smaller amount as well if you took the lump sum. So it's very similar. It seems like false advertising, but it's exactly the way the Powerball and the lottery works in general. Now what you've been waiting on. What are the odds that you'll actually win this $10 million? And what are the smaller prizes that you could win on a weekly basis? Because the tickets that you receive based on your deposits and based on the bonus of using my AJ Mobile Money invite code, you can win or you have the chance to win every week. So with the Yada Lottery, you essentially have six balls and you have one Yada ball. So it's taking a very similar approach to the Powerball, which has five balls and then the one Powerball. So in order to win the $10 million, you would have to get all six of the non Yada balls correct, as well as the one Yada ball with the exact number for the Yada ball specifically. And so let's say the Yada ball was 10, but one of your non Yada balls was 10. That wouldn't count as your Yada ball. The actual Yada ball drawing, which would be on every Sunday, that would be the ball that would have to be the number 10 in order for that to count. And so for the non Yada balls, the balls go up to the number 70. And for the Yada ball, it goes up to the number 63. And so you can see with there being 70 different numbers that it could be for the non Yada balls and 63 different numbers that it could be for the actual Yada ball, the chances of you winning the jackpot are very slim. But again, it's just about the same as playing the Powerball, except you're not losing money because this is a savings account. Not only that, but when you buy a lottery ticket, once that weekly or daily drawing is over, you don't get another chance to win. With the Yada Savings account, you get multiple chances to win. You get a chance to win every week. As long as you keep the money in your savings account, you'll have those tickets. And so the minimum way that you win with the Yada Lottery or the Yada Savings account is if you were to get the Yada Ball correct, then you would win 10 cents, or you could get three non Yada Balls correct, and that would win 15 cents. So those are the two smallest ways that you can win. And if you get more balls correct with the Yada ball, then that increases your chances as well. And so of course the jackpot for the 10 million or the $5.8 million lump sum, you have to get all of the balls correct. But if you were to get all of the non Yada balls, but don't get the Yada ball correct, then you get a chance to win a Tesla Model 3. And so there are prizes in between the jackpot and the minimum of 10 cents and 15 cents. You can actually win $1,000, $1,500 or $5,000. Now the difference with those three higher prize amounts is that as you can see from this screenshot, there are some options that say per ticket and then there are some prizes that don't say per ticket. So the prizes that say per ticket, no matter how many tickets you have, whether it's 10, 1,000, 5,000 tickets, if you get the number of balls correct in order to win that prize, every ticket where you have that amount of numbers correct, you will get whatever that small prize is. Now for the higher prizes, if there are multiple people that get that amount of balls correct for the 1,000, the 1,500, and the $5,000 prize, then that means the jackpot will be split. And that goes for the jackpot of the $5.8 million lump sum, as well as the prize for the six ball non Yada prize, which is the Tesla Model 3. So that means if you and three of us were to win the Tesla Model 3, I'm gonna drive and you guys are gonna be passengers. All right, just kidding. So if we were, if four of us were to actually get all six of the non Yada balls correct, then the value of the Tesla Model 3, which is $37,000, that amount would be split between the four of us or however many people were to actually win all six and get all of the six non Yada balls correct. Now, what I found out, not only from looking at their website, but checking out Wikipedia, is that this actually isn't a new concept. So even outside of the US, the UK has a thing called premium bonds, where it's actually kind of like a savings account and you have a chance to win. They have a lottery system linked to that premium bond. And so on the Yada homepage, they actually have a link to that Wikipedia article so you can check it out. And so that's one of the ways that they got the idea of creating this savings account is from the premium bond that the United Kingdom uses. And when you think about it, you can pretty much turn anything into a game or into a lottery, something where you can win prizes and people will flock to it. People like to win. 
even if there's a small chance that they can win, that's why the lottery is successful. Because even though there's a very slim chance that you could win the jackpot, the chances of winning that jackpot is what drives people in order to spend their money, basically. In the same way with gambling or betting on games, betting on card games, even if the chances of them winning are slim. And so instead of playing those games and playing the lottery, you can actually save your money with a Yada Savings account with the additional opportunity to win bonus money, whether it's 10 cents, 15 cents, or the grand prize of a Tesla Model 3 or $10 million. My bad, $5.8 million. So this is literally a no-lose lottery all you need to do is deposit at least $25 to get started. That will give you one ticket. And then using my invite code, AJ Mobile Money, that will get you an additional 100 tickets. And so in my first week, I actually did win 10 cents. I got the Yada Ball correct on one of my tickets. And so in my first week of using this Yada Savings account, I deposited $25. I got 100 tickets from using someone else's invite. And I actually got one ball correct and it was the Yada ball. So I was able to win 15 cents in my first week. Now, considering I only put $25 in the account just to start out and to test it out for a week, 15 cents on a $25 deposit is actually a 0.60% interest rate. And so if I were able to every week get at least the Yada ball correct and no other numbers correct, then I would average a 0.60% interest rate. And now that would only be a 0.60% interest rate if I only won one week out of the whole year. If I were able to win or pick the Yada Ball correct on one of my over 100 tickets every week, and I would only get the smallest prize or the second smallest prize of just getting the Yada Ball correct and getting 15 cents every week, that would actually be a 3.12% interest rate if I were able to get the Yada Ball and only the Yada Ball correct every week of the year. And so $25 and getting 15 cents every week, that equals 3.12% interest over the course of a year. And that's not counting the additional 0.20% interest that I would gain just by depositing money and whether I got a Yada Ball or any other prizes correct, I would still get that 0.20% interest on whatever money I deposited in my account. And so if you take that into consideration, considering that there are only 63 Yada Balls and you're gonna get over 63 tickets, if you use my invite code, you'll get 100 tickets, plus you'll get a ticket for every $25 that you deposit, then that means you have a pretty good chance of getting about a 3% interest rate or savings bonus or winnings, whatever you wanna call it, it, you could get about 3% if you were to get the Yada Ball correct every week of every year just depositing $25. And so that was one of the main reasons I decided to try it out. Worst case scenario, I'm going to get 0.20% if I never win anything at all with the Yada Savings account. And so even as a savings account, it's pretty good. If I can average winning 15 cents per week throughout the course of the year, then I'll get a 3% interest rate, which is something that you're not going to get from any other savings account out there at this moment. Now, as I'm recording this, I'm actually in the second week of having this Yada Savings account, and it's currently Saturday morning, so we've gone through five balls already. There's one non-Yada ball left, and there's a Yada ball left, and I have one ticket where I actually have three non-Yada balls correct. And so that means as of today, I've already won 25 cents. I could potentially get one more non-Yada ball correct and win the four Yada ball prize, or I could just get the Yada ball correct and win the Yada ball plus three non-Yada balls, and then I also have multiple other tickets that already have two Yada Balls correct. And so the chances of me winning another 25 cents at least are pretty high. And they actually show a, a luck index on the My Stats page. I actually have a screenshot of it here. And it says my luck index is 95. I don't know what the index goes up to. Maybe it goes up to 100, I'm not really sure. But I mean, it sounds good. It was a lot lower earlier in the week when I had less balls correct, of course. But I don't know what that goes up to. I'm gonna assume it's 100 and that 95 would be pretty good. And I believe, I think I took a screenshot. If I did, I'm gonna post it now right here. Um, I believe it was like 45 was my luck index during the first week that I actually tried the app at the end of the actual week. And so if you'd like to earn 0.20% interest rate with the chance of an average of about 3% interest on your savings account, all you need to do is deposit at least $25 into the Yada Savings. The more money you deposit, the more tickets you'll receive to their weekly drawings to win, to potentially win $5.8 million. The more money you deposit, the more tickets you will receive. You will receive one ticket for every $25 that you deposit, and that will give you a ticket to 
every week drawing to potentially win $5.8 million as the jackpot winnings for the Yada lottery. And so based on this video, if you've tried out the Yada savings, let us know how much you've won so far using this account. If you have not, make sure you use my invite code. It's AJ Mobile Money. You will be asked to enter this code after you click the link that I'll provide below in the description and in the top comment in the comment section. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. If you're not already a member of the Mobile Money Nation, all you need to do is hit the subscribe button now below, hit the like button because you really like this video, and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.